right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Ruchach Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, and peace and blessing, Shalom, to the Most High's hopeful elect. I'm back with another quick lesson, man. And um, I want to entitle this, Yet Now Hath He Reconciled. Okay? Uh, uh, and who is the He? Uh, uh, spoken of, which I'm uh, quoting out of Colossians uh, 1 and 21. Con, con, uh, it's the end of uh, Colossians 1 21, and that's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. All right, the fact that we were in the world, okay, we were following out the false gods, caught up in false religions, all right, going completely against the uh, uh, the law, statute, commandments of the Heavenly Father, whatever walk we were in, if we was in Christianity. Islam, all these different things, man. All right, we was going again, completely against the dietary law, man. Going off on every aspect uh, 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 possible, man. Okay, committing adultery. All right, all these different things, man. But yet, the uh, uh, the Most High still had mercy. All right, uh, through His Son Yahweh Shai, and calling us unto this Word, and cleansing us through the Spirit, man. Okay, and that's a, uh, why we fight daily. All right, to 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 basically to to, sh to show good that we're grateful, man. Okay, and that we truly believe that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, and the only one way uh, 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 to obtain the kingdom of heaven is to suffer and sacrifice on this side, as the Lord did, man, when He was here in the flesh, man. Okay, so we're fighting daily to show uh, to to show appreciation. Unto uh, Yahweh Shai for what he did for us For giving us a chance uh, 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 of, uh, of redemption And at the kingdom of heaven man Okay so I want to get straight into the lesson As always Lord willing There's some edification in this video man Alright this is Colossians chapter 1 And verse 21 It says uh, well, Matter of fact I'm about to start up Colossians 1 and 13 It says Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and have and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have a redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins man okay so we had uh, abused the uh, the law of sacrifice man the animal sacrifice man okay and the most high had done away with us for a certain period of time and prophecy was fulfilled through Yahweh Shai getting up on that cross and dying and shedding his blood for us to bring us back under the fold, man. Okay, that's why Paul made the statement that he made. And um, I get it real quick in Romans chapter 9, man. All right. He wished that he could have been in the place of, uh, of Yahweh Shai for, the, uh, for his brethren. All right. Okay, real quick. This is Romans 9 and 1. It says, I say the truth in my shiak, I, sh I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that that myself were a curse from Mashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. Letting you know, so I'll read the next line first. It says, who are Israelites, all right? Israelites according to the flesh, man. Okay, so the, uh, the, uh, the Mosai set his son up to do what? To bring the children... <laughs> That were under the law, all right, back into good grace with him, man. Okay? this the, the, He didn't get on the cross and die for anybody else, man. Paul is clearly stating that he wished he have, could have died, okay, as, as Yahweh Shah did, okay, for his kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, man. So that rule out you, you Edomite Christians, you other nations, all right, it, it's no go for you, man. All right, this this the 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 sacrifice of the Lord pertained unto Israel, man. Okay, it says, who uh, to whom pertained the adoption? What? And that's what we uh, what happened with us, man. All right, when the, when the Lord died on the cross, He brought us back under the adoption of, of sons, man. Okay, it says the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law, the service of Yahweh and the promises. All right, who's whose are the fathers and whom as concerning the flesh Mashiach came who is all over Yahweh blessed forever amen okay so that's what it's all about man okay Yahweh Shah got up on that cross to bring us back under the adoption man okay to uh, to uh, um, so the most high could uh, uh, would make uh, good on his promise of the kingdom man okay and that could only happen through the blood of Yahweh Shah man 
okay? So let's back in Colossians uh, 1 and I'll read 14 again. It says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, man. So that's how we had a chance uh, to get right, man. Okay, through, uh, and have forgiveness of sins was through the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Elsewise, we still be out there uh, 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 left uh, uh, on our own, man. All right, waiting on destruction without any type of covering, man. All right, without, without any type of uh, uh, promise of salvation if it wasn't for Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. It says, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature? For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether there be thrones. So this man, it's, he's running down. Paul is running down a list of the, 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 the power and the status of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Being the firstborn of, of every creature, man. Okay, and after that, the Most High put and put the charge to him, man. Put everything on his back, man. All right, to handle all his business, man. Okay, and you have men trying to teach against Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, these Old Testament Israelites, man. All right, trying to take away uh, uh, what Yahweh Shai done for us, man. And when you taking away your chance of salvation, this first go around, if you're doing that, man. It says whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might be uh, have the uh, have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell, and having made peace through his the, the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him i say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven and you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works man okay we all fall under that man okay we all were uh, 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 those dry bones man all right had no life in us had no spirit in us man being spiritually dead man why? Because we were operating, uh, we were alienated and enemies in our minds by wicked works, man. Okay? All the things that we were doing in the world were having us alienated from what? From our heritage, from our power, okay? Following after ways of this world, this devil, okay? Following after all these false gods that don't even exist. All right? It says, and yet, Hath he reconciled? So we gotta lay our life down for the for the Lord, man. All right, we gotta lay, bear our cross, man. We gotta sacrifice, man, because he's still with all with all that we he we've done, man. The Most High still had mercy on us by sending His Son down here to do what He did, man. Okay, to wash us clean uh, 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 in the Spirit, man, to give us life, man. All right. So uh, I want to jump over this Colossians two. And starting at 11, it says, In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in the putting off of the body. And what is the circumcision made without hands, man? Okay, you got heathens that can go get circum that's getting circumcised, man. Do that mean that they they they, they uh, 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 are falling in good graces with the Heavenly Father? No, man. All right, the circumcision without hands is pertaining to the circumcision of the heart or the circumcision of your mind, man. Okay? That's what Yahweh Shai did for us, man. And that's why it's so important that we give reverence and, and, and respect and honor to him because there's no other way that that could have happened, man. Okay? There's no other entity that could have uh, uh, cleansed our spirit, man. All right? And gave us his understanding and his light to, to, to bring us out of that darkness, man. Okay? It says, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Mashiach, okay, who the world knows Christ, man. It says, buried with him in the baptism, all right, in the true baptism, man, of what? Of repentance, man, okay? When we heard this word, man, we felt like shit for all the thinking of all the transgressions and the trespasses that we were doing against the Heavenly Father, man, okay? And we wanted to do whatever we can to make it right, man, okay? 
it says wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith faith again man okay that's what this thing is about having faith okay in these words man having faith in Yahweh Shai man okay it said it uh, have through the faith of the operation of Yahweh who hath raised him from the dead and you being dead in your sins and the uh, uncircumcision of your flesh man okay it says hath he quickened together with him okay so the ones that are dead unto our sins and the circumcision of our flesh man we are quickened or made live together with Yahweh Shai man okay so we died to the world but we, we became alive through Yahweh Shai man he gave us true life man all right, we receive. I'll get it real quick in uh, Ezekiel 37, man. Did you think about your mindset in the world? That's why the scripture said that we were, uh, um, how's it worded? Let kind of says that we were some us that were sometime alienating enemies in your mind by wicked works, man. Okay. We were living a dead, uh, spiritually, we were dead by the, uh, the way we were uh, living, man. Okay? Uh, I'm going to get straight to the point. Uh, this is Ezekiel 37 and 9. It says, Then said he unto them, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord Power, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain, that they may live, man. So that's how we, uh, we uh, 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 receive life, man. Hearing this word, uh, 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 which was Yahweh Shai calling unto uh, uh, his elect, man. Okay, I'm gonna grab another precept before I get back to uh, Colossians, man. This is um, John chapter 10 and verse 26, man. Because it's, it spoke of the faith of the operation of the Heavenly Father, man. Because everybody have heard, uh, Israel have heard this word, man. And it's evident through all these celebrities coming out uh, getting... Uh, a uh, uh, vocal about being Israelites, man. Okay, the word is going out, man. Okay, but uh, are they answering the calling of Yahweh Shai? No, because it's not meant for everybody, man. Okay, but this is John 10 and 26. It says, But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Why? Okay, why do we follow this? Because we are the hopeful elect, man. Okay, we're fighting to to uh, 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 and and showing that we are grateful and understand what Yahweh Shai did for us and what we are called to do now, man. Okay, that He gave us life, man, through this knowledge, through this understanding, man. Okay, so this is uh back in uh, Colossians two and thirteen, it says, "And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath He quickened together." And once again, quicken meaning to make alive with him, having forgiveness, forgiving you all trespasses, man. Okay? F having forgiven you all trespasses, man. So Yahweh Shai, through the blood of Yahweh Shai, we received a clean slate, so to speak, man. He wiped away all our trespasses, man. He wiped away all of uh, the wicked acts that we did. So now we can uh, uh, walk a, a righteous path, man. Okay? Lord willing, enduring unto the end and receiving salvation, man. Okay. Uh, this is Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, just going back into that word quickened again, man. It says, and you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, man. That's why we were dead, man, because this is a sinful world, man. This place is engulfed in complete darkness, man. Okay, and without the light or the understanding of Yahweh Shai, okay, then we didn't stand a chance, man. We would have continued on in the ways of the world, man. We'd be out here bugged out, probably fucking uh, screaming Black Lives Matter and shit if it wasn't for Yahweh Shai, man. All right, it says, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of, of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath even, even ever, uh, as others, man. Okay, so we was completely given in to our flesh, man. Okay? 
and the Lord still had mercy unto us to call us unto this uh, to, uh, uh, unto this understanding, okay, and give us the, under this word, so uh, the truth of this word, so we can push and be part of this ministry, man, okay, in hopes of receiving salvation, man, and how did that happen through the blood of Yahweh Shai, wiping us clean of all our sins, man, not only uh, the elect. But all of Israel eventually, man, all of Israel is going to be saved eventually in the kingdom, man. But this first go around, it's all about the elect, man. Okay? It says, but Yahweh, who is rich in mercy, rich in mercy, man. All right? He was pissed. We, man, we committed spiritual adultery time after time after time against the Heavenly Father. And he done away with us, man. But he's rich in mercy, so what? He had the prophecy of his son, his only begotten son, set up. Okay, to wipe wipe the slate clean and give us a second chance, man. Okay. It says, For his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Mashiach. By grace, ye are saved, man. Okay, and that could not have happened without Yahweh Shai. That's the key role of what he did for us, man. Okay. Our promise of this uh, 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 of the kingdom of heaven, okay was restored by uh Yahweh Shai, man okay and not to say like it was ever gonna go away that's just the way the most high set it up in his movie man okay so uh real quick this is um john chapter 5 and 25 it says verily verily i say unto you uh so like in 24 it says uh john 5 and 24 it says verily verily i say unto you he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me. So it's not just about hearing the word, but believe, man. Okay? And who's going to believe? The ones that Yahweh Shah put the spirit upon, man. Okay? It says, Have everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life, man. Okay? That's the beauty of this thing, man. Yahweh Shah gave us life, man. And niggas can't quit eating pepperoni pizza, man. Motherfuckers won't hit the block. Don't want to teach the word. Got all that type of excuses, man. Well, well go on ahead, man. That's just showing that, the, that the, uh, you, you're not grateful and you have not chosen, man. Okay? You don't understand the gravity of what the Lord done for us, man. Okay? So, uh, another scripture. This is Romans 3 and starting at 23. It says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh, who is all is pertaining to Israel, man. Okay? You are the nations Yahweh designed to go off, especially you damn Edomites, man. Y'all are the ep epitome of wickedness and, and, and sin, man. Okay? But it says, but justify free freely by the grace through the redemption that is in Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's how we justify it, man. Okay? Through the redemption of Yahweh Shai, man. It says, uh, verse 25, whom Yahweh had set forth to be a propitiation or atonement, okay, through faith in his uh, 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 in his in his blood, man, okay. And when you go into the book of Hebrews, it tell you that man, we if we were able to be able to be cleansed, okay, and uh, 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 um, uh, uh, make a sacrifice through the blood of uh, of clean animals, man, okay. How much more are we uh, cleansed through the blood of Yahweh Shai, man? Okay? So I'm going to finish this scripture out. It says, To declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of Yahweh, man. So it's letting you know, man. This is all, man. Hey, man, that's why... <laughs> When you go into uh, uh, in the Apocrypha, man, when it was uh, basically speaking on the kingdom of heaven, man, it told you that it was a man whose stature was greater than all the other men. It's not speaking verbatim, man. And I was talking about you, how was shy, man. Okay, that's why he's going to he's gonna get the respect and honor that he deserves for the role that he's played or the role that he set up, uh, 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 that, that, that you was set up for him, man. Okay. Whether you Negroes uh, like it or not, whether you Christians like it or not, man. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab this last scripture. And I'm gonna wrap it up after this. Um, this is Ephesians chapter five, and I'll start at 26. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it by the washing of the word, so like it by the washing of water by the word, 
that he might present it to himself a glorious church, man. So that's what this thing is about, man. Okay. The Most High setting his son up, Yahweh Shai, to do what, man? To cleanse us, okay? To present us unto the Heavenly Father as a glorious church, man. Okay? Not physically, uh, uh, <laughs> and of course, we <laughs> physically, when you get into this knowledge, you, you get on a whole another level of cleansing, man. Okay? The proper way, man. Getting away from Esau's chemicals. And not that's not what it's talking about right now. But I'm just saying, man, when you get into this knowledge, man, your spirit, your physical, uh, uh, your physical condition, okay, your surroundings, your environment is a reflection of your spirit is all I'm trying to say, man. Okay. So it says, uh, verse 26, um, verse 27, it says that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish, man. Okay, and you think about the wicked ways and all the things that we've done in the world and through Yahweh Shai, all that has been wiped away and we have be, uh, 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 been made clean, man. Okay? All our wicked acts, man, have been wiped away through the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So uh, that's it for this lesson, man. Lord willing, there was edification in this video to whoever may come across it, man. And once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings, Shalom to the hopeful elect. We almost out of here. Shalom.